It's a long-awaited video, but here is a comprehensive tour of my desk setup for 2021. Let's go. For the past six months, I've spent most of my time in my room at my desk, having online classes, doing assignments, creating content, and playing video games. If you haven't seen my previous desk setup video yet, I highly recommend you to go and watch it first to see how I set up my desk half a year ago. This new setup is able to support my workflow in particular and has drastically improved my productivity, editing, and gaming experience at the same time. Most of the items on the desk stays the same, while the biggest change on my desk is the addition of an external monitor, which we will get to in a second. On my desk, the heart of my setup, the Asus ROG Zephyrus GU502 laptop, the Ampro 2 mechanical keyboard, and the Logitech G602 mouse still remains on my desk from my previous desk setup, and they are still running smooth without any faults so far. The biggest hardware upgrade to my desk is this centerpiece right here, the Asus VG27AQ 27-inch 2K 144Hz monitor. Because of this monitor, I have to rearrange the things on my desk to accommodate this piece of a monitor. The 2K resolution, big screen real estate, and high color accuracy is a treat when it comes to editing photos and videos. Also, the 144Hz refresh rate allows me to play video games, I mean, view assignments twice as fast as other people. You can still use the split screen shortcut on Windows to view multiple tabs at once and the words will still be clear enough to read from where I'm sitting, which is absolutely amazing when you are viewing different sources, writing down notes while doing assignments at the same time. The laptop screen acts as my secondary monitor. Normally I put on Discord or some lo-fi music and it is less distracting when it's off to the side. To make space to store my keyboard and mouse when I'm not using them, I bought a monitor stand that lifts the monitor a few centimeters off the desk and creates an alcove to tuck my keyboard and mouse away when it's not in use. Cables are my kryptonite and my OCDness just can't stand seeing messy cables on my desk. That's why most of my peripherals are wireless and to manage the dongles from my mouse, keyboard and microphone, I added this external hub from Verbatim which connects via USB-C to my laptop to keep the dongles and cables neat and organized. And when I need to take my laptop out, I just need to unplug one cable to disconnect them all, which is very convenient. To the right of my desk, things are still the same. The desk light, the shelf where I store my collectibles and everyday carry is still here. Oh, and this thick book that I'm supposed to read for my linguistics class, but I haven't read it yet because I'm too lazy to. And that is my updated workspace for 2021. If you're interested in any of the things you see in this video, I had left links for everything in the description down below, especially the cute desk lamp. You guys asked for it so much in the previous video. Before purchasing any products, make sure to do some research on it, like knowing the specifications, physical dimensions so that it would fit your desk and more importantly, fit your needs. This is just my desk setup, obviously not everyone's gonna like it, but I do hope it gave you some inspiration on how you might want to set up your desk. Before I end this video, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watching this video. I just hit 10k a few days ago and it's crazy to think that 6 months ago when I posted this video right here, I was at around 40 to 50 subscribers. This boy right here started filming and editing for fun and realized it's what drives me and what motivates me from time to time. I posted my first desk setup video for fun, hoping to share what's on my desk and see how much I can do just by filming at home. I know I'm not supposed to be focused on the numbers, but seeing that number grow from 100 to 1000 to 10,000 is really motivating and it's a crazy experience to have. I had a few days to process this and I can't really put it into words. I just can't thank you guys enough for taking time out of your days to watch my videos and leaving lovely comments in my videos for me to read by the end of the day. I read all of the comments and they truly mean a lot to me. I don't have the craziest reaction when I reach 10k. I think I was doing my assignment and it was like 2am at that time. And if I scream, I'm gonna get fucked. But from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the love and support. Thank you for the messages and thank you for letting me keep my passion alive. And I can't wait to see where I can take this channel to in the future. Anyways, that's it for this video. Stay safe. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.